2K Sports. NBA action is coming up. This is Kevin Harlan, and joining me, former NBA players Greg Anthony and Richard Jefferson, and the award-winning David Aldridge is on our sidelines. And a look at the starters for San Antonio. The guard pair are Jones and Vassell. Sam Benyama is the center with Sohan next to him. And it's Champagny in at the three, the small forward. And for the Jazz, George is out there with Sexton. Then it's Lowry Markkinen. Then it's John Collins. And it's Hendricks in at the power forward. One thing to expect tonight, Richard, a battle on the glass. These are two of the best rebounding teams in the NBA. It's an aspect of the game we don't talk about enough. If you can control the glass normally, you control the flow. And the basket by Jones. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. Here's Sexton. And finish off by Collins. Becoming a true force on the offensive glass. Love how hard Collins goes after those second chance opportunities. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That one on Collins. And with Tim Duncan and David Robinson, Greg, the legendary Spurs big man of days gone by, does that, do you think, add pressure for Victor Wembanyama? Maybe a bit, but he also has the resources of the same great organization behind him, and that's what'll help. That one falls for Vassell. Look, if there's one thing that we've learned about Vassell since he came into the league is that he is a tough competitor. He will battle each and every night. Second free throw, no good. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Utah. 13 feet away. Markkinen can't get it to go. Here's Vassell. Passes it to Champagny. Rebound, Utah. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Here's Markkinen. And the rejection by Wembenyama. Jones with the bounce pass. Wenbanyama against Collins. Wenbanyama gets the bucket. Yeah, going hard to the rack, making a statement here early on. Yeah, it's nice to see him be assertive instead of settling for a jump shot, especially in the first quarter. Uh, I'm sure his teammates love having a guy like Collins on the receiving end of those alley-oops. As fun an assist as you'll get. Now here's Jones. They get it again. Here's Wimbanyama. And at last, they get one to fall. That's a blue-collar bucket right there. Grown man basket. Put in the work. Got a second chance to score. George passes to Sexton. Pass to Collins. Down to five on the shot clock. Good defense by Wembenyama. Yeah, the defender in position there and with the height advantage. The fade away was really his only choice, but still a tough shot. You see the improvement in Vassell's jump shot looking more and more confident now. Timeout is called first of the game for the Jazz. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And Coach called his timeout to try and reset things on offense. Shake them up a bit so they can hopefully start getting some shots to fall.
Walker Kessler, he's checked in for Utah. San Antonio making a switch here. George looking over the floor. Now the pass to Kessler. And the rejection by Wembenyama! Let's it go from 14. And it hung on the rim, but wouldn't fall for him. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Wembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Wow! <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still think he's grown, which is scary for the rest of the league. Spurs leading by five. Branham, the pass to Sohan. Nice ball movement by San Antonio. The three from Johnson. A new 14-second shot clock for San Antonio. Mbanyama, no good. For Utah, they've gone just two of eight shooting so far, just uh, 25%. Now, here's George, still without a basket. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Well, great chemistry on display. He understood where to put the screen in order to free up his teammate. Pass to Branham. Takes the three. Again, the miss by the Spurs. Jazz trail by three. 35 seconds left in the first. Sexton's shot is good. And he is just an explosive athlete. Sexton not at all phased by the contact. Pass to Wembanyama. That's in. Coming off the assist from Johnson. Six points for Victor Wembanyama. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Outside, George. Down low. And taken away by Johnson. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. Spurs lead by three. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. And if you're just tuning in, it's been a pretty even game through the first quarter. And taking a look at San Antonio's performance here, what do you think they've been doing or, or not doing? Well, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. In rebounding numbers, sometimes we overlook them, but they can have a big effect on the outcome. On the floor for San Antonio, the cell in the wing along with Johnson. Then it's Jones. Then it's Collins. And it's Mamu Kalishvili in at the four. Here's Jones. Richard, you know a lot about this subject. Wing defense. You were a great one. Stellar. Who's the best wing defender right now? Thank you for acknowledging my quality defense there, Kevin. But to start and end the conversation with Drew Holiday, that's where it should be. Because, look, he can guard an elite point guard and a scoring forward. He does so many things well. His hands are elite. And I think the most underrated part about his defense is his IQ. It is off the charts. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, guys. Walker Kessler has already made an impact for the Jazz. Now, Will Hardy says the physical tools that he has allow him to be successful. He's shown so much growth on both ends of the floor. I think defense comes natural to Walker in a lot of ways, but his ability to learn the offense has been tremendous. Kevin? It is another great young player. We enjoy them all. David, thank you. The first one falls. And a guy who's bounced around the league a bit, Clarkson tightened up his game, and now he is a key factor in what this team does. And he 
and both free throws good for Clarkson. And we've played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Clarkson against Wesley. Pass to Mamu Kalashvili. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Jazz trail by three. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. And how about the incredible timing on that alley-oop? He absolutely hammered it down. For San Antonio, they've gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. And here's Jones. Wesley with the ball. Tipped away. Stolen by Collins. And now Utah, fast break. It's stolen by Jones. It's Jones on the wing. And there's the pass to Mamu Kalishvili. Back to Jones. Clock at four. Here's Wesley. Kessler with the rebound. When it comes to Trey Jones, Richard, what has impressed you most about him so far? Well, Kev, it's his deceptive versatility. He scores, he passes, he rebounds. He does everything at a solid rate. And most importantly, this man just plays so hard when he's out there. And the Spurs with possession. Following the bucket by the Jazz. Pass to Mamu Kalishvili. And it's off from three-point range. Utah leading. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Clarkson against Wesley. The shot by Clarkson, no good. Now Wesley. Nothing on the board. And there's the call on John Collins. That's foul number two for him. Jetty Osman, he's checked in for the Spurs. To the wing right side. Here's Champagny. And the rejection by Collins. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Passes it to Hendricks. Six to shoot. Here's Dunn. Off on the layup. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Yep, it counts. Jones has got six. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Sexton deciding where to go with it. Over Wesley. Connects on the nine-footer. Sexton's got the lead up to one now for the Jams. You know, beautiful move there by Sexton. Read the defender and has the body control to adjust. Here's Osman. Still yet to score. And the rejection by Collins. Here's Wesley on target from 13 feet. And the Spurs lead by one. And so Sexton will bring it up for the Utah Jams. 15 seconds left in the first half. Fires from deep. That shot missing. Having a hand up in your face makes such a difference to a shooter. Yeah, that's a good defender making a play, and he does it without fouling. And that'll do it for the first half, a competitive game so far. It's the Spurs. They lead by one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much here with Greg Popovich. Pop in a close game. What makes the difference in the second half? Lots of things, you know. It's a game of mistakes. It's a game of playing well. Who knows? Always love your philosophy, Coach. Thanks for your time. Back to you guys. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Hey, everybody. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. A pretty close game for the Spurs throughout the first quarter. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, what was your take on San Antonio? Playing on a road is having no effect on this team. Between the planes, the hotels, the buses, it's a grind. It can zap your energy level. But right now, they look like a fresher team. And we'll see if they hit the wall in the second half. How about you, Shaq? What did you think about Utah? Well, their bench production has been a major factor. Guys have been ready to go when their number is called. And it makes the second half go a lot easier on your main guys when you can spread the minutes around in the first half. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during the half. You have to like what we've seen from Jones. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. They've got Sexton, also George out there. Lowry Markin and is out there with John Collins. And it's Hendricks in at the four spot. That's the group right now for Utah. Jones in the post, defended by George. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations. But he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. The first free throw is good. So he gets them both. Boy, he's got a great stroke from the line. That's not something we can say about all the league's big guys. Pass to Hendricks. Outside, George. Markin in from outside. Buries the long-range jumper. markinen has got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Jones with the bounce pass. Zoham, the pass to Jones. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. For San Antonio, they have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. First one drops. And so Jones nails both of them. No surprise there. He's about as automatic as it gets from the stripe. I hope I didn't jinx him. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. And stolen by Wembenyama. And it's Jones, that time on the assist by Wembenyama. Jones has got 10. And that's how to make an impact time with out, defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. 
Utah calls timeout. Kessler, he's checked in for Collins. And San Antonio also making a switch. Johnson's checked in. Now, here is George. He dishes it to Sexton. And the rejection by Wembenyama! Tries again. Johnson right side. Misses from close range. Bashes the bucket uh, like you expect him to make. It's tough when you miss those. You know, Greg, after a few seasons of development, Lowry Markkinen has really emerged. And he's such a unique player. It, it took him a while to kind of figure out how to maximize all of those talents and, and also minimize the weaknesses. But boy, has he arrived. And the Jazz can't hang on to the ball. That pass wandered off target. Can't lose focus on the little bitty things. So it's the Spurs now. They lead by six, their biggest margin. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Spurs celebrated their 50th season in San Antonio last year. It was a tremendous legacy for one of the four ABA teams to join the NBA in 1976. The Spurs hosted a game against the Warriors with more than 68,000 fans in attendance. It was the most ever for a regular season NBA game. These loyal fans continue to support their home team. Kevin? They've been so loyal. David, thank you. Absolutely. This is a great market. Here's George. And that one, good. George has got his second bucket of the game to go. And you can bet they weren't expecting that kind of a flashy move out of him, but that spin worked to perfection. To the paint, here's Vassell. Makes it off the glass. Vassell's got the lead. Back up to eight now for the Spurs. Feeds it to Markinen. And the pass to Kessler. Again with the block. And swatting shots away with ferocity. G.A., he is not messing around in this one. And Utah making a change here. Horton Tucker's checked in. And San Antonio also making a switch. Branham's checked in. Utah calls timeout. You know, Greg, one place you really see Walker Kessler making his presence felt is on the defensive end. And, boy, he has got a nose for blocks, doesn't he? I mean, able to detect shots forming and get a hand on the ball. It is such a gift that allows this guy to make such a big difference on that side of the ball.
127 left to play in the third. Just five on the clock. Here's Markinen. And the rejection by Wimbenyama! Collins checked in for Utah. Collins checked in for San Antonio. So it's San Antonio now. Since halftime, they've only allowed five points. Now, here's Vassell. Defense right on him. I, I'm not sure what happened there. You, you, his family's in the building. I don't know. You have to finish those. And finish off by Collins. And one thing you love about Collins as a scorer, he's efficient. His numbers from the field and from three are consistent year to year. Cranes it from beyond the arc. When Banyama has got the lead up to nine now for San Antonio. The Jazz shouldn't just 39% from the field struggling to find that net. Horton Tucker with it. He's picked up by Collins. Horton Tucker, the pass to Kessler. Five to shoot. Just his first attempt. Sends the ball no good. San Antonio leading by nine. Pass to Vassell. Back to Wembenyama. Over Collins. Wembenyama gets the bucket. Wembenyama has got nine points in the quarter. And so it's Victor Wembenyama making things happen for San Antonio. He put on a clinic in defense that quarter. His shot blocking was key for him. Back right after this. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. And uh, San Antonio shooting well. They're at 45%. On the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. Rembenyama is the center with Sohan next to him. And it's Osman in at the small forward. Brenham off target from outside. Jazz trail by 11. Outside, marking it. On target from 13 feet. And how about that stroke from mid-range by marketing The, the seven-footer with a deadly jumper. That's like a defense's worst nightmare. Here's Wembenyama. And that one's good, Jim Penny. And the Spurs lead by 12. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. And the lack of defensive pressure on shots like that is a big reason they're down by double digits. Sure. Rebound San Antonio. We played just over one minute here in the fourth quarter. Here's Branham. And when Benyama throws it down. They've hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Collins looking around. And play stops. Whistle on what looks to be an illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet more set on that screen. Easy call. Look, guys get away with this all the time. But on this occasion, he got caught. Looking at who's out there now for the Spurs. Hey, Mamu hey, Kelishvili is checked in. And Trey Jones subbed in for Jetty Osman. Here's Sohan. Shot clock at six. Here's Champagny. Hendricks pulls it in. I think the defense will live with him taking mid-range jumpers, but maybe just a little bit more resistance. And he gets it back. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. Yeah, you can see why he's established that reputation. Strong understanding of how to defend at the rim. And the basket by Jones. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Spurs. 
All you have to do is look at one stat, and that is their block numbers. It tells you how tight their D has been. They've been going out of their way to smother the defense. And they've really been able to get out in transition and produce. The defense hasn't had an answer for this up-tempo pace. The contest and the rebound, folks, that is how you defend. Here's Branham, defended by Sexton. And here's Collins. He'll bring it up for the Utah Jam. They trail by 16, and the shot goes down. Well, you know, not bashful about positioning himself inside. Sexton knows he has what it takes to score from there. Passes it to Sohan. Here's Branham. One forty-four left here in the fourth quarter. And the rejection by Collins. And that shows you a bit of Collins' all-around game and why he's so valuable at both ends of the floor. Now, here's George. He kicks it to Sexton. Lobbed up there for Collins. And finished off by Collins. Maybe they've been going to him a little too much. Now, he's having a great game, but his team is losing, and that is all that matters. Branham, the pass to Sohan. Here's Mamu Kalashvili. He's guarded by Collins. Stolen by Markinen. And these are the types of games where one team clearly has the edge. Tonight, it will be a win by a large margin for the Spurs. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but, you know, they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the story. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. And we watched one guy all night long, guys, and, and look at the stats just confirms what a dominant game he had. What a night tonight it was for Victor Rembenyama. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. Here's Mamu Kalashvili after the main shot from Lowry Markinen. Yeah, you, you hate to give up a foul on a three-point attempt. And he hits the first of three. And the second free throw, good. Nails the third. And Utah has possession. 15-point game. Clarkson. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Look, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. It's a shame, really. If they've been playing like this last quarter, they might be in a different situation right now. The clock now can just run out for the Spurs. And here is Wesley. And so it's San Antonio easily taking this one. This was a very strong showing for him, Greg. Not necessarily a runaway win but one they'll feel very good about. And, and let's face it, any time you can go on the road and win in the fashion they did, you have to feel good about it. it. Really an outstanding effort all the way around. And that about wraps it up. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time.